Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel on Engineering Mathematics. In this video, we are going to see what is rank of the matrix and what are its properties. So let us see definition of rank of the matrix. We say that rank of the matrix is R if there exists a minor of order R which is not equal to 0 and all the other minors of order greater than R are equal to 0. Let me explain this definition with the help of an example. Consider this 3 cross 3 matrix. Here minor of entry 3 comma 3 is of order 2 and is non zero. That means minor of this entry is this sub matrix and its determinant is not equal to zero. Since this sub matrix is of order 2 we say that this minor is of order 2 and its determinant is 1 so it is non-zero. In simple language you can consider minors of the given matrix R possible sub matrices of the matrix. So here for this entry we see that this sub matrix is of order 2 and its determinant is not equal to 0 therefore this minor's value is not equal to 0 and all the other minors of order greater than this minor are equal to 0 that means the minor of order 3 cross 3 here is the only matrix. Its value is 0 because determinant of this matrix is 0. Therefore we say that this matrix has rank 2. Now let us see some of the properties of the rank of the matrix. On this slide we see the most important two properties of the matrix. They are as follows. The rank of the matrix remains unchanged by elementary row transformation. I mean if from a given matrix A we get the another matrix B by performing any row transformation or any column transformation then rank of matrix A and rank of the obtained matrix B are same. Similarly rank of the matrix A and its transpose are equal. That means rank of A is equal to rank of A transpose. Now we see some other properties of rank of the matrix. They are as follows. The rank of the square matrix of order n with determinant not equal to 0 is always equal to n. That means if the matrix is of order 4 cross 4 and its determinant is not equal to 0 then its rank is 4. Similarly rank of the unit matrix that is an identity matrix of order n is always equal to n. That means rank of an identity matrix of order 3 is always equal to 3. Next is the rank of the null matrix of order n is 0. That is rank of the all 0 matrix of any order is always equal to 0. Next is the rank of a diagonal matrix of order n whose all the diagonal elements are non-zero is always equal to n. And lastly, the rank of the scalar matrix of order n is n. I hope you understood what is rank of the matrix and its properties. In my next video, we will see possible ways of finding rank of the matrix. So till then, stay tuned. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel for more such engineering mathematics videos. Please press the bell icon to have updated information about my videos.